One, two, three, four. It's so tiring trying to count all these stars. Okay, how will I count the stars in this time? Okay, now I know. Hi there, it's me, JB. Today we will do an experiment. The title of this experiment is Numbered Stars. The objective of this experiment is by constructing an 8x8 eight eight, eight eight black poster board and a 4x4 four four hole in the 8x8 eight eight poster board, we are able to count the stars in that number and multiply it by a certain number to get the number of stars in the sky. The supplies you are going to need are as follows. This 8x8 eight eight poster board was made and we cut out a 4x4 four four hole. Okay, so this is what we did. We will we lay okay. So we look at the stars in the, sky, the sky. And how far is it from you? This one is one foot away, away from, from the your sky, eye, but and the eye is and one eye is covered. Mm -hmm. It should be like this, not not like that. Okay. So I look at the stars, I count the number of look stars. At the sky. I look at the sky and I count the number of the stars. Uh huh. And I look at ten different regions of the sky. Are you sure ten only? Eleven. Oh yeah, eleven. So this is what I got. So the for so the you first look at different different regions of the sky. So this is the first result. Seven. When I look at the first part of the sky, seven stars. Next is four, then three, then four, then four, then four, four, two, seven, eight, six. So you now at different areas. Yes, different areas. Uh -huh. So we will do the following calculations in the space provided below. On what kind of night is today? Okay, today is a moonless night. Uh huh. Why moonless? Because it's almost new moon. And so, if it's new moon? Uh, it's best if it's a new moon because when there is a moon in the sky, it can cause a parallax so that the stars look at different, look like they're in different positions and not in their actual position. So, even with... But the star, you can still see the stars yes. in this moonless night. Yes. Wouldn't the presence of the moon also affect the lighting? Uh, yes, it can affect the lighting because the light reflects light and it can... The what? The moon reflects light oh. and it can uh, affect. affect the uh, eye. So the eye cannot adjust to the darkness. Okay. okay. So now, we, we will do a fo following calculations. So we will add up the 10 numbers which I recorded on the above lines. So, we will add 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 4 is 11, plus 4 is 15, plus 4 is 19, plus 4 is 23, plus 2 is 25, plus 7 is 32, plus 8 is 40, plus 6 is 46. Then, we will divide this number by 10 in order to get an, the average number per viewing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 46 divided by 10 is 4.6. Okay. Then we will multiply the average number by 56. Isn't that 11? Because you said 11 numbers. You included 7, the first one. Ah, oh, you did not. So, 5.6 times 56. So, we will use a calculator for that because it's too uh -huh. hard for and mental. Then... then what will the result mean? Uh, the you? final answer will be an estimation of the total numbers of number of stars visible in the sky with the naked eye. Mm -hmm. The naked eye. Okay. You may be wondering how this experiment can result in a true estimation of visible stars. Because there are so many stars in the sky, how can we be sure? A 4-inch square held approximately 12 inches from the eye gives a view of, of about 1 56 of the celestial hemisphere. We know this because at a distance of 12, 12 inches from your eye, the total surface of the celestial hemisphere is approximately 905 square inches. The frame you constructed allowed you to view 16 square inches at a time. 900 divided by 16. 
Then 105 divided by 16 equals 56. Thus, taking the average number of stars viewed and multiplying by 56, resulting good estimation of the total numbers number of stars visible to the unaided eye in the night sky. That's all for this experiment. Thank you. Okay.